Hello world, welcome to On The Fly Advanced. Although we have dealt with this issue before, we now go into an advanced way of using waypoints for an On The Fly mission. This is an actual image of our venue where I'm working. So you can see, we basically see nothing. To use a waypoint mission so we can reuse it in a later stage, the perfect way to do that is with an On The Fly mission. Let's do that. On your mobile device, you go to On The Fly and choose Path. Start your drone and fly to your first waypoint. Because you're only setting your path, it's not necessary to record or to take photos. When you reach your first waypoint, your correct altitude and everything, you frame and you press mark. Fly to your next waypoint, correct altitude, framing and press mark again. Do this for all the future waypoints until your mission is completely recorded. When done, you click Next. You choose Video or Photos, Advanced Settings, Yes. So set your speed. I prefer straight lines. Choose Framing from waypoints. This will use the settings and the tilt of your drone, so you're aiming at where you point your camera at. We want the mission to fly forward and we give it a unique name. You can check your settings and continue, and there is your path. When happy, just do your mission and check if all your settings are correct. It's done, so I'm happy, now let's fine tune. Here we are in the DroneLink web app. We open the folder with the saved flight plans. We select our plan and let it load. And there is our flight plan. 
As you can see, it's a normal waypoint mission, with markers, waypoints and an approach. It is essential that we copy our plan from the Save Plans folder to a local repository for further editing. And because it is a standard waypoint mission, we also can edit it and treat it as a standard waypoint mission, which means we can just change and alter any waypoint or marker as we wish. And here's our copy where we can work on. We first do a preview of the entire flight. That looks good, but it needs some fine tuning. As you can see, I'm missing a part. We're tracking the endpoint and inserting a new waypoint. And at waypoint Bravo, there is a high voltage pylon, so I like to have a little bit more space for safety. And we're tracking the other waypoints at will. And we're generating a preview again. For a smooth transition we set the interpolation to curved. And I insert another waypoint. As you can see, I have extended the flight, but the stop command is still at the same marker. We need to change that. It almost looks good. First we're going to add a new marker for the tilt, the heading and the stop command. The heading and the tilt need some more fine tuning. We will delete the camera stop capture command. And we will add the start command at the new marker. And as you can see, the stop command is now at the end of our mission. Well, this is about correct, so I think it's time we're gonna fly. This is a screenshot from my iPhone, so let's see how it works. 3, 2, 1, starting mission.
mission accomplished. Had. Of course, it needs some more fine tuning with regards to the tilt, the heading, and the angles, but that's for later. You get the idea, so now let's see the result. <laughs> 